went to a place to address 50 chiefs and we delivered the message of Islam in front of them. We invited them to Islam and a lot of them listened to the message very, very carefully. In fact, some of them came forward and they said they are so happy to hear the message of Islam. Many of them were very, very pleased to see us. In fact, one of the elderly chiefs, a lady, she came forward and she said, I don't know how to, how to thank you people for coming and sharing this beautiful message with us. The people of Malawi, brothers and sisters, are absolutely amazing when it comes to receiving Islam. After speaking to the chiefs, we went to a remote area to deliver the message of Islam to our village, where until October, there were only three Muslims in this place. Alhamdulillah, now they are over 60. And when we came close to the village, we walked through mud, water, and many of the brothers, they got blisters. Even though we faced these difficulties, all of us were smiling, happy, and there was no feeling like it. It was an amazing feeling, walking in the path of Allah. So we came to this village, we spoke to the people, we delivered the message of Islam. There were a few Christians there in the crowd. One of them was a pastor. We asked him to come and read the Bible and show people as to how Jesus prayed. He read from the book of Matthew chapter 26, verse 39, where Jesus went to the garden of Gethsemane and he fell on his face and he prayed to God. We made him pray just like Jesus. And he accepted in front of the crowd that this is how Jesus prayed and we don't pray like this. And the villagers were shocked. They simply couldn't believe it because they were never exposed to this. He even acknowledged that some people come from the West, they tell us about Jesus, but your Jesus, the one you have introduced to us, is different to what they have told us. Then the chief of the village came forward and he delivered an amazing speech. The children of the village, they were shouting takbir, they were singing songs. And they even knew Surat al-Fatiha because, because some of the brothers who were working in the village had taught them Surat al-Fatiha. <laughs> I request that you support us as volunteers. Those of you who are able to come and teach Islam, please get in touch with us via our website, which is deconvivencia.com. Those of you who can support us financially, please again go on the website and donate for this beautiful, this amazing cause. And those of you who can make dua for us, please do so because it is your duas which keep us going so far. Jazakumullah khairan. Inshallah ta'ala, we expect that you will do something in your capacity. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alamin.